Hi, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from YourBlackWorld.com. I'm here at the Urban League, and I am uh, tomorrow going to uh, chair or or moderate a um, a plenary session on the state of urban education. And so um, I just, you know me, when I have a thought or when something comes to mind, <clears throat> I share it, and uh, I share it because I'm hopeful that that the thought can be helpful to some other people. Uh, now. This, this issue is also heavy on my mind because I just participated in the film Hoodwinked uh, by Janks Morton, which really dispels a lot of the myths uh, that, that exist when it comes to African-American men. Um, and also, I thought about this issue heavily when I wrote uh, my book, Everything You Ever Wanted to Know About College, uh, because I, I think that education is clearly the dividing line between the haves and have-nots. Uh, it is the way out of poverty. It is the way to uh, success. It is the way to strength. For black men and don't let anybody tell you different. Now the topic that, that came up today was I was speaking to some educators about uh, President Obama's recent announcement that he uh, in his office or they're going to create an office for African American education. Uh, it was an executive order and, um, and, and and I applaud it. I think it's a it's a move in the right direction. It's definitely better than a move in the wrong direction. And but one of the things that um, that concerned me a little bit about the initiative is that number one. It was very vague. Uh, you know, someone frankly told me, and this is an Obama supporter, strong Obama supporter. I'm an Obama supporter too, but apparently being an Obama supporter is not enough for some people. You have to be an Obama fan, which I refuse to be. I'm not going to be a fan of any politician because that's how they manipulate you. Uh, but, you know, an Obama supporter and, and former Obama fan, he said, I read through his speech at the Urban League and there was nothing of substance there. He said that, you know, when, when they speak to African Americans, they, they tend, Obama tends to deliberately avoid being very firm and substantive on issues that affect African Americans. Uh, and the person also said that the, 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 this, this educational initiative by the president right before the election was pandering at its finest. That basically, uh, the, you know, you're about to get uh, you're, you're about to go up for re-election, so you suddenly pop up and do something that people have been asking you to do for three years. And, and really that's, um, you know, no, no different from a, a man showing up with flowers, uh, when he wants to get sex from a girlfriend that he's been, uh, ignoring for the last four weeks. Uh, so to some extent, the African American community were, were very interesting because there are so many people who are so excited about this announcement and uh and it's it's interesting to me because it almost seems that that for us as a community our self esteem is so low that we don't feel that we have the right to ask our political leaders to address some of the very pressing issues that exist in our community uh, in a way you can really can compare us to that woman who is looking for anything that will tell her that this horrible man loves her or that the man that or that that a man loves her when he hasn't been acting as if he does love her uh, and I'm not saying that Obama is a horrible president or a horrible person but what I am saying is that uh, sometimes we have to be careful about grasping for straws looking for just anything that says that this president uh, cares about us in, or that he connects to our issues. Um, I think that he does care about us to a point, but what you care about and what you believe is very different from what you do. And I think that if you look throughout the Obama presidency, what's been very unfortunate is that he has allowed these, the, you know, these very racist white guys, uh, elitist white guys like Tim Geithner and Lawrence Summers from Harvard to come in and run his administration and making what uh, one person said, which I thought was quite accurate, these rookie mistakes. Uh, kind of not having the courage to kind of boldly move forward with his agenda and and to do as much as he can possibly do. So uh, I'm not going to say that this Office of African American or ed Education isn't going to be effective, but I think action speaks louder than words. I think that we, we have to get to a point where we can't let uh, politicians write checks or or let politicians get loans when they've got bad credit. And what I mean by that is, uh, when you got bad credit, which means that in the past you've lied about things or you've said you're going to do something and didn't follow through, well, when you got bad credit, they make you pay with cash. And so in the same case with politics, we have to have politicians pay with action, not with words, not with rhetoric, but with actual action. So uh, I don't believe in this Office of Urban Education or African American Education, not because I don't care about the issue or not because I don't believe them per se or not because I don't believe that they'll ever do anything. But it's mainly because I need to see action, and I'm tired of hearing words. And I think that uh, we should all consider that perspective as well. Well, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from YourBlackWorld.com. I am gone, so please have a wonderful day. Peace.